What's up, comic creators? To record your voice within your CapCut project, what you'll do is you'll open up your uh, project file itself. And once that gets opened up, uh, like I opened up a fresh one here, on the right-hand side of your screen, right above the timeline for your video project, you will see a small icon that looks like a microphone. That little white icon is what you're gonna wanna click, and that will open up the option to go ahead and begin recording straight to your CapCut project through the CapCut software now once this uh, menu option is open there's a few things in there that you're gonna want to make sure you understand uh, before you begin recording the first thing is obviously the audio reader uh, that's in there there's the little bars bouncing up and down if you see that moving while you're talking that means that whatever device you're looking to use to record with is picking up the audio uh, that you're trying to capture now uh, right under that you will see a menu option that allows you to select which uh, device you're using to input audio into uh, cap cut and so it automatically goes to your uh, device or desktop um, option and so you may be seeing audio feed on those bars but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're capturing audio from let's say a microphone or headphones that you have plugged into your device so you're going to want to uh, click on that drop down drop down menu and make sure you can select any other uh, device you're looking to record with right now i'm just literally speaking right into my uh, computer as we go here okay so once you select that uh, the obviously you have volume right beneath that and all that does is adjust the volume of the recording I typically don't mess with that only because I can adjust the volume of the recording after it's all said and done and worry about that later and I don't want to mess anything up to cause that to be a difficult situation and potentially have to go back and re-record uh, then you have these two check boxes beneath that one of them is echo reduction uh, which is just simply if you're in a space where um, you don't have really good uh, insulation for your sound that you're trying to record you can select echo reduction uh, to help with that and have a uh, clearer more uh, uh, distinct sound that you're being recorded if you're recording your voice uh, it will help um, if you're in a large room or you have a very echoey space that you're trying to record in the other checkbox underneath it is mute project and what that will do is if you are recording in a spot on your project where you have other sounds going on maybe maybe you have music playing or maybe you've added some sound effects if you click mute project that will make sure that as you're recording because what's going to happen is, is you're going to be moving through your timeline as you're recording i'll show you that uh, what that looks like here in a minute um, you it'll make sure that that if that's going on and you're in a space where there is other sound going on it will go ahead and mute that while you're recording so you don't capture accidentally like a sound effect or music uh, on top of the recording you're already trying to do uh, so it just mutes your entire project so you don't have any in distractions or interruptions as you're recording all right so once you're all set to go you go ahead and click the big red button to start recording you'll enter into a countdown starting at three and then once it gets down to one what you'll see at the bottom here is your timeline will start moving like so and that means that right now the project is moving through uh, your actual video project itself and recording the audio overlaying it into the project now um, this is so that you're able to start wherever you specifically want to start recording in your project but it doesn't affect it in the long run in the long run if you get your recording done and you want to move it to a different part of your project you're totally able to do that uh, but this is just how the software works you'll see it moving through your timeline uh, recording your audio as you go and then once you're finished you'll go ahead and move your mouse back up to the rig but big the big red button sorry click that again uh, and that will uh, stop the audio recording uh, and there you go you'll have your completed uh, audio file within your project and you can edit it chop it up move it around the project from there but that is uh, how you ultimately record your voice within CapCut. thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please take the time to like comment and subscribe as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords. Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects, and please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time, Comet Creators. End transmission.